ir a ver se iría a dormir <laughs> the last one with stevenson because that's no fight for the people then all the people will go to sleep now then <laughs> shakur stevenson and pitbull cruz are having a back and forth once more after pitbull trash talked shakur Corrida nada más. Oh, this was an order, we, we got, uh, I forget then. In fury, Shakur fired back at the Mexican and even did more damage to him. Stop telling me fight Pitbull, go tell him fight me. Tell him fight me. Shakur Stevenson and Pitbull Cruz aren't the best of friends in boxing. And this showed by Isaac Cruz's recent comments about Shakur's fights. Uh, Gervonta, yeah. Teo, uh, Ryan and the list Shakur, yeah. He slammed his fighting style and claimed Shakur Stevenson was a fighter who does nothing other than put fans to sleep. In essence, if the futures of boxing were in the hands of Shakur Stevenson, you can boldly predict that boxing isn't in safe hands. De Gervonta porque es buena pelea que la gente quiere. Wait, it's a good fight that when the people want to see. Well, you don't expect so much friendliness from fighters in and around the same weight class. In their bid to make big fights, they get on the wrong side of each other's book, and so is the case with Shakur Stevenson and Isaac Cruz. La de Teofimo en segundo porque es un, una pelea que el... They've had some intense back and forth in the past and almost had a fight in the ring. However, things didn't work out in the favor of both parties. Now Isaac Cruz is getting set to stage his second fight of the year on August 3rd in the undercard of Terence Crawford versus Israel Madrimov. Los dos estilos acoplarían bastante bien. It's a fight, but the second is because of, of the uh, both styles will be uh, fit very well. It's fight week, and Isaac Cruz alongside other fighters have been going from conferences to meetings and interviews. In one of his interviews, Shakur was asked about his next fight one. He gets the expected victory against Jose Valenzuela. Yeah, yeah. Eh, Ryan, porque también es una pelea que la gente quiere ver y yo estoy apto para poderla hacer. Ryan, because it's a, a fight that people want to see and that's what he wants to do too. He says, God willing, he'd like to fight again this year, expressing an openness to meet World Boxing Association lightweight champion Davis in a fall rematch if Tank fails to negotiate a title defense in the next few weeks. Another lightweight champion capable of moving up in weight is unbeaten World Boxing Council champion Shakur Stevenson, but Cruz frowns upon Stevenson's evasive style of fighting, and this is where he blasted the world champion's boxing style. Apto para poderla hacer. Ryan, because it's a, a fight that people want to see, and that's what he wants to do. Too. He said, nobody really wants to fight against Shakur because he puts you to sleep, Cruz said. Watching him fight is like going for a nap. That's not the case with Mexico's top-ranked lightweight contender, William Zapata, 31, 0, 27 KOs, who on July 6th scored a third-round knockout of left-handed Giovanni Cabrera, who went the distance with Cruz in July 2023, with Cruz claiming a split decision triumph. Yes, totally. I respect Zapata, and if he wants to take the challenge and risk of going up to 140 like I did, then let's make it happen, Cruz said. So then maybe someday with Ryan? Until then, Cruz heads to Saturday with a plan to keep his profile a boundless enterprise. I'm excited for Saturday. You know the belt is coming back with me to Mexico, Cruz said. Y pues la, la última es contra Stevenson porque eh, pues la gente yo creo que no quisiera ver. However, Shakur Stevenson didn't have to wait for Isaac Cruz's fight night before firing the needed shots at the Mexican world champion. He posted a tweet on X, formerly Twitter, referring to Isaac Cruz as pit idiot. Well, only a few boxing fans and professionals would disagree with Isaac Cruz's statement about Shakur Stevenson and his fighting style. There is a feeling around Shakur Stevenson that he is a boring fighter, and this is starting to do a lot of damage to the figure of an emerging 27-year-old fighter like him. For the time being, in his last fight, he retained his World Boxing Council lightweight title after defeating Artem Harachunyan by unanimous decision 119-109-118. 110 and 116, 112, although the fans felt that the Newark Southpaw shied away from the confrontation. There were even boos at the end of the fight and some footage has been seen of fans leaving their seats before the contest concluded. This should be of concern to Shakur, although he himself has assured that he would like to improve some striking skills. First of all, 
Stevenson's victory was undisputed. He did not get caught by Harutunian and was infinitely more effective than the German. Mind you, his elusive style means that we usually see him counterpunching and backpedaling. The fans, he was fighting at home, wanted a more attacking Shakur, but that will only happen when the opponent makes it much more difficult for him, and he has no choice. Oddly enough, opponents like Edwin de los Santos or Harutunian, his last two fights, have not made Fearless uncomfortable, they have not forced him to take risks. At the end of the fight, there was some booing from the audience and the American defended his performance saying, this is how you will see the best version of me when you put me in the ring with someone to fight and compete. Nice. In this sense, he is right. Although what the fans ask of the fighter is that he is able to dominate an opponent, as in his last fight, he should have the intention and the weapons to try to knock him out. The champion added about his contender, I would have liked him to try a little harder, so the fight would have been more fun. He also admitted something crucial that he must implement if he wants to stand out more in the future. I have to cut the ring a little more because my opponent was going one way and then the other, so I have to go back to the gym and work on cutting the ring. Like many of the 27-year-old's outings, he beat his opponent with relative ease and displayed some of the most sound defensive skills fans of the sport can see today. That doesn't always make for thrilling viewing, and Stevenson was criticized for the second fight in a row for not looking to entertain enough. This time around, fans were heard booing and even leaving before the final bell. Did you hear what happened? No, I didn't. It was People a decision. Walked out. Huh? People walked out. People walked out? I don't on the fight, Teofimo Lopez said, People walked out? Well, it's his last fight with top rank, so good riddance. Nobody's gonna care about that. He just fought a guy that had only seven KOs. What was his record? 12 and one? Come on, guys, don't come at me. I've done my work, two time, via fight hype. Well, it's his last fight with top rank, so good riddance. All right, then. Yo, well, hey, well, hey to everybody. As a result, only a few fighters have defended him for such an uninteresting display. For market value, entertainment value, of course you want him to stop him. That's what people like to see. He could have. He missed his opportunity and he didn't turn it up. He got to start cutting off the ring a lot better and he got to start putting combinations together. Shakur's defensive minded. He doesn't want to take no punches. At the end of the day, as long as Shakur's comfortable with it, bro, he's comfortable. He's winning. The concentration all night and he's gonna take limited chances. It's gonna be a boring ass fight, but Shakur should be able to pick it off. Yeah. And, and if Tank starts to rush in and start, you know, get ahead of himself, Shakur gonna pick him up. The only guy that I think can give Shakur a run for his money is Tank, because his IQ's right there with him and he got that power. That one punch power to end the fight. Shakur ain't never been hit, but if he catches him, it could be it. But Shakur's gonna make sure that's not gonna happen. That's the concentration he has. Via fight hype, Shakur Stevenson hasn't had it easy recently, especially after many fighters in his weight class have voiced their reluctance in fighting him. Uh, April. And, uh, which opponent are you looking at? It may be Cambosis because uh, oh, wow. Pitbull turned me down. And when you ask why, many fighters easily point to his fighting style as the reason they'll never lock horns against him in the squared circle. His last opponent, Edwin de los Santos, had his most frustrating night when he faced Shakur Stevenson. It got so bad that at times, de los Santos threw his hands up in frustration. And joining him in that emotion was the crowd as booze cascaded upon them. Todos saben lo que pasó. No matter how hard he tried, De Los Santos found it impossible to land a clean shot on the former Olympic silver medalist. Once the final bell rang, De Los Santos didn't have a single bruise on his face. Although he didn't take much damage, he also wasn't able to inflict any. Following 36 minutes of lackluster action, Stevenson walked away with a close unanimous decision victory and the vacant WBC lightweight title. Él vino a sobrevivir y eso fue lo que hizo y le regalaron el título, pero yo soy campeón del pueblo. While De Los Santos may have left the arena beltless, he believed that, at least figuratively speaking, he earned the respect of everyone around the world. De Los Santos said, We all know what happened. He came for a track meet. He didn't come to fight. I showed that I am on a higher level because he never stood and fought like he does with other fighters. I did my job. He came to survive. That's what he did. They gave him the title, but I'm the people's champion.
Although Shakur Stevenson apologized, the world of boxing is yet to forgive him for that in-ring atrocity. Hey, listen here. I don't got nothing to say about that, Stevenson said. I don't make any excuses. It happens. We go through a lot as a fighter. I'm good. Uh, I really don't care about it. Um, I had a bad performance tonight. Uh, that's all I'm really focused on. Stevenson previously indicated to Osuna that there was something off with him from a physical standpoint while he was in the ring. I had a bad performance tonight, Stevenson said. That's all I'm really focused on. I wasn't feeling too good, so I'll live with it. It's okay. I came here, got the victory, and that's all I wanted to do. When asked to elaborate on what was wrong with him, Stevenson added, I just didn't feel good. I didn't feel good before the fight. Honestly, I already told myself if I'm feeling like this in the ring, and if it's not going well, I'ma make sure I box and get the victory. Shakur, you seem like a one-handed fighter tonight. You only landed 21 left hands. I know you wouldn't talk about it. And Shortly before then, Pitbull Cruz had even fired a more dangerous shot at Shakur Stevenson after he avoided their fight because of Shakur's fighting style. The World Boxing Council at the time had announced an ordered lightweight fight between the skilled Southpaw and Cruz, a fight that boasts an intriguing clash of styles but is probably unrealistic because of promotional alliances. Cruz is backed by premier boxing champions, while Stevenson is promoted by rival top rank. At 135. The World Boxing Council lightweight title was held by undisputed champion Devin Haney, another top rank client. All the other fighters, they are busy, Pitbull, Stevenson said. They are busy. We can't fight them. They got fights all lined up, so what up? I'm here. WBC says make it happen. Come on. You all know them dudes, man. Stevenson, who decided after failing to make weight in his 130-pound title unification against Robson Conceição in September that he would move up to 135, also had words for lightweight contender Jermaine Ortiz, who recently boasted that he would hand Stevenson his first loss. Ortiz was coming off an inspired but ultimately losing performance against three-division titleist Vasily Lomachenko last month at Hulu Theater at Madison Square Garden. The boy don't want no smoke. He said, oh, we did this in the car track. I saw Jermaine Ortiz say he's going to be the first person to beat me too, Stevenson said. I see everything you all talk about. Just because he got in there with old Lomachenko and did what he was supposed to do. He did good. He did good. That was me. I would have beat Lomachenko. Come on now. That stuff sounds good though. The stuff you are all talking about. Talking about how Pitbull, the big killer who fought Gervonta Tank Davis, and they act like he is some type of killer? If he is a killer, then what's up? Show me you a killer. I want to see how much of a killer you are, Pitbull. Like what we talking about? Oh cool, he knocked out an old Yuri Orcus Gamboa in April. I don't care. I'm not Gamboa. You know who I am. Well, oh, your dad and your manager said no, we don't- They turned down the fight. I don't want that fight. Yeah, okay. I told you I turned pits into poodles, guy. I ain't worried about shit. He ain't no pit bull to me. Isaac Pitbull Cruz, a Mexican boxer in the lightweight division who started boxing young and quickly climbed the ranks, wasn't hesitant to fire shots back at Shakur Stevenson. Cruz is a formidable opponent known for his aggressive style and strong punches. Cruz has a robust win-loss record. He has beaten notable boxers in his weight class. These wins have earned him title shot opportunities. Furthermore, there were talks of his fight with Shakur Stevenson. However, he declined the offer. I to somebody who went publicly and said they don't want to fight, shut up. Pitbull Cruz then broke his silence in an interview. He revealed why he declined the fight against Shakur Stevenson. This revelation shocked the boxing community. In the interview, Cruz said he turned down the fight. Why? He believes Stevenson didn't earn a title shot in the lightweight division. He said, I think I don't know what Bob Arum's plan, Shakur's manager was, but I think he wanted to get there and then without breaking a sweat here within the division. Furthermore, he added saying, he wanted to ignore everyone, even my name, my job, and I did not agree to give him that great opportunity that he wanted within the division. Don't want to fight me, bro. I'm going to run. I'm, you ain't even see me running the last, how many fights? Like, what you talking about, bro? Moreover, Cruz also noted Stevenson's limited experience in the lightweight division. He had only fought Shuichiro Yoshino, a fight which Cruz believed was not enough for a title shot. However, it was clear that Stevenson didn't agree with Cruz's viewpoint. Shakur Stevenson spoke on Instagram Live saying, Pitbull doesn't want no smoke. I don't run. He pointed out his recent aggressive fights, including a win against Shuichiro Yoshino. 
He emphasized that he had become more aggressive in recent years, even securing a sixth round stoppage victory against Shuichiro Yoshino. So he believed he would have beaten Cruz easily. Tell him fight me. Don't tell me to fight him. I say yo. He said, little dude can't do nothing with me. The way Isaac Pitbull Cruz sees it, his fights are an extension of a lifetime contract with his fans. At just 26 years old, Mexico's new World Boxing Association 140-pound champion displayed the strength of the powerful bond with his fan base on March 30th, when the Allegiant crowd cheered more heartily for Cruz than even the main event participants Sebastian Fundora and Tim Tizou in their unforgettable bloodbath for the unified junior middleweight titles. Cruz was hailed above all, and he leaned deeply into that roaring appreciation to execute a complete destruction of outgoing trash-talking champion Raleigh Romero by eighth-round technical knockout. Los Angeles. It was a hard camping, uh, training camp. Uh, we make all the effort and we have uh, very strong training all the, t all the days. Then we think... The same type of takeover is likely Saturday night at BMO Stadium in Los Angeles, where Cruz makes the first defense of his belt against a game Mexican-born contender, Jose Rayo Valenzuela, in the co-main event to another junior middleweight title fight, pitting World Boxing Association champion Israel Madrimov against unbeaten three-division champion Terence Crawford. Believe me, we are the main event. Everyone in Los Angeles is coming to this fight for Pitbull Mania. Just like Las Vegas came out for him March 30th, Cruz's advisor, Sean Gibbons, said. De las habilidades que él tiene como peleador. Es un peleador con bastantes este, habilidades, pero... It's going to be a Mexican crowd, and you'll see exactly who the main event is. Cruz expects the same, and he explains the unwritten agreement this way. What I do inside the ring is for the fans, for them to be happy, Cruz said. In the end, that's the connection between myself and the fans, because we know what we give each other. When they come to see me fight, I want to give them what they came to see. That's why Cruz sees no reason he won't capture the evening again from the American and Uzbekistan main event combatants who have yet to prove they can fill a non-hometown stadium without secondary support. El día de Nueva York que cuando no le quisiste dar la mano fue a propósito porque fue eh, acá ahora en, lo vas a volver a ver cara a cara va a ser la misma energía o qué va a suceder ese día. Why not? Let's go and steal the show, Cruz said. That's why I've been working so hard training in Mexico City. As his nickname suggests, Cruz is a vicious punching fighter when unleashed from his corner. His ferocity and volume of punches with ill intentions overwhelmed Romero, and Cruz is confident he'll experience similar success against Valenzuela, 25, despite the contender's Mexican origin and the fact he's been an expert trainer Robert Garcia's gym for four months. Valenzuela, in a recent boxing scene story, made quite a case that his career experiences and the timing of this bout make it feel as if he's destined to pull the upset. To that, Cruz delivered a cold, fierce expression. But like in the streets? In the streets? Ah, no, 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 in the streets, no. <laughs> Beyond his highlight reel knockouts, Cruz volunteered for a lightweight title shot at Gervonta, Tank Davis, and went the distance with him in a narrow defeat by decision in December 2021. Since then, Cruz has reeled off four consecutive victories, his popularity and likability surging with each triumph. Look, what I have accomplished so far has been hard, Cruz said. Whatever Valenzuela has said he can say, but I am not giving up what I have worked for. Cruz is actually reaching for a greater stature. When he first claimed the 140-pound belt, his fellow champions were Teofimo Lopez, World Boxing Organization, unbeaten Devin Haney, World Boxing Council, and dominant Puerto Rican power puncher Subriel Matias, International Boxing Federation. You know how hard you've trained. You, you know Rayo real well. You, you know how confident you are coming into this fight. What do we see from you this fight? How does this fight play out in your opinion? Since then, Haney suffered three knockdowns to a performance-enhanced Ryan Garcia on April 20th, a no contest that ultimately led Haney to vacate his World Boxing Council belt and left Garcia suspended for one year. Matias was then upset by Australia's Liam Paro in a bout staged in Puerto Rico, and Lopez is reportedly interested in fighting Brian Norman Jr. for a World Boxing Council welterweight belt. Victory Saturday would effectively transform Cruz into the king of the 140-pound division. I may not be the king, but if I win this fight, my presence will be known, Cruz said. People will be like, this is the troublemaker in the 140-pound division. Man, then we will keep winning this time. We will.
in terms of motivation, Isak, because the fight before with Roly, he, he was talking and talking and talking. Valenzuela trainer Robert Garcia went as far to say that Cruz, one of seven world champions from his country, already stands as the most loved active fighter in all of Mexico. The criticism being leveled at four division champion Canelo Alvarez for fighting the underwhelming Edgar Berlanga Sept. 14 in Las Vegas hasn't helped his cause? Cruz fighting often and showcasing the entertaining style that he's flashed against Davis and Romero and others is creating a successor to the Mexican greats of the past and declaring victory on this stacked, heavily watched Saturday card will only boost his cause. Look, I feel really privileged, happy and excited by the fact that people feel this way about me, Cruz said. When that adoration is said, that means I need to give them a show every time out. Este, ¿cómo, cómo ha sido para ti? Este, ganar el campeonato, ser campeón y mantenerte como campeón ahora que va a ser tu primera oportunidad. Pues ha sido un trabajo. That's what the people want. I'm going to give them what they want. Of course, they want a knockout, and Valenzuela was floored in the third round by Edwin de los Santos two years ago. Valenzuela admits he believes Team Cruz thinks he's chinny. I don't prepare for a specific round. I prepare for all 12 rounds and to fight at the best possible level, Cruz said. And that's all for now. For the very best updates on news, moments, events, and actions in the world of boxing, stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to turn on notifications to get notified when we drop quality contents like this. Until next time, peace out.